everybody, this is Jeff Bernard from Solve Systems, and today we're going to go over how to get rid of those aggravating JSON schema mapping errors that we run into in Logic Apps. When you're mapping from a HTTP request or something else, and then you're parsing the JSON, you'll run into a thing where it's not liking uh, the value type that you're providing it, and it throws an error. And this is something that I beat my head against the wall at one time when trying to figure out. And so that's why we're doing this video. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. So we're in Logic Apps and what do you know? We have this validation failed. And so we're gonna get some information about the outputs and the errors that we're having. And this is typical what you see when you start getting longer JSON you'll have these invalid error type expected integer, but got number, right? And so on and so forth. Uh, got a integer, expected a string, got a string, expected a number. And so there's some ways to handle this. You can strip it of any nulls. Uh, you can do all types of different things. Um, this is the easiest thing to do. So we're gonna go into the Logic app. We're gonna edit it. And then we're gonna to go to our JSON body and we'll simply take a this information that we have right here. We'll edit it, make it look a little bit cleaner. And what we're gonna do is this is gonna clean up any errors that we have, uh, which will be very helpful to us because we don't want to have those nasty errors anymore. So we have type, and everywhere as we have type, we're just going to replace it with this. So everywhere as there's type, just continue to copy and paste in this change. And we'll keep going through uh, where we have this information. And continue to look for those strings and numbers. And we're basically giving it an array of things to accept. Okay. Do you more? Place a string place the integer and this can be done um, a little easier in Visual Studio where you could go and highlight this and change all occurrences uh, or any other large editor. It's typically harder to do that in here, but you'll see we've changed all of those things uh, to allow for this and then we'll give it a try. So we have appropriate JSON schema. We had the error from the HTTP request in trying to parse that JSON, and now we're gonna run it. And so we'll hit run. And there you go. That allows us to pass anything that is being pushed from this HTTP request. So that's how you get past the integer uh, ex expected and got a string any of those red markered arrows in the parse JSON, that's how we're gonna solve it. So, hope that was helpful. Let me know if you want me to make some different videos and I look forward to talking to you later. Have a good one.